Students that come to the program can expect a number of things. They can expect to uh, see things that they have never seen before, or perhaps have only read about in textbooks. Uh, the courses are uh, very rigorous courses, um, but in addition to that, we have students actually living in the ecosystems that they're visiting. The thing I like most about this program is that uh, when you read about something, you can go right outside and see it. So when I'm studying in Maine and I read about the tropics, I can't, I can't really imagine it. But here, I read about the same thing and go right outside and look at it. I love this program because um, we get to do a lot of hands-on research and I'm not used to being in the outdoors as much as this. I'm from the suburbs and I grew up near a city and so getting the chance to come to Costa Rica and see all these different types of ecosystems is really interesting and it's such a beautiful country because it has like almost every type of ecosystem you could possibly imagine like a dry forest or a rainforest. Students can expect to travel around the country. We don't have one home base and make field trips from that home base. Instead, the course is completely mobile, and I think that's one of the real strengths of this course. It's not just the rainforest that you'd expect. There's so many levels of habitat and so much uh, contrasting ecosystems that you should try and understand. So it's nice to see all the levels of it. Like As you go up in elevation, things change, and as you go on different sides of slopes, the weather and climate change. We could go from being in a dry tropical forest to in a wet tropical forest. If you could tell by the rain behind me. It's because there's just so many different environments in such a small area. You can go from pluvial rainforest where it's constantly raining, extremely wet, and in two hours time you can drive to a dry forest where it's sunny, hot, and you barely see much rain at all. do a field research um, course in which we all do independent projects. We have to come up with the ideas ourselves and the teachers have to approve them. It's a good way for us to get thinking in um, a scientific way just so we have that experience and that mindset and we have to write our papers on it, we actually do the research and it's just it's a good experience as a student to have because I think at most colleges you don't get this type of experience and it's very personal, you have your own advisor and they spend a lot of time with you on every project so it's just a good experience to have. I was not used to it at all. Um, I'm really glad that I got to do some independent research here and uh, the staff give you a lot of um, freedom to sort of feel out your own project and then if you need some help they're always there to step in and sort of point the way for you to go because you just get to go out and you collect your own data and you you know observe what you want to see and then you can sort of take your research in the direction that most interests you so that's something I've really enjoyed about this program. A really good thing about this program is we have such a high ratio of faculty to students that people get a lot of individual attention um, we can put a lot of effort into helping students become better writers, helping them become better researchers, and they really get a lot of face time in this program. And that actually is one of the things that I really enjoy, is just getting to know the students and spending that good amount of time with them. I've never gotten to know any of my professors at college like this, and it's very personal, and it's nice to have these people teaching your classes. You have respect for them, you take them more seriously, and they take you very seriously as well. It's kind of like a big family. I would recommend this program because while I make it seem like it's just a tropical biology program, you also get a lot of culture. You do get to see the culture here too, so you don't miss out on that because you spend three weeks in um, San Jose, which is a really cool city. After taking three weeks of Spanish, my Spanish is also a lot better than it was when I arrived. The semester program is four courses uh, in total, and one of them is a Spanish language and culture course area, 
while students are with homestay families. They generally have a, a great time staying with those families and are often very sad to leave. You get to work with the environmental situation in Costa Rica, so you hear about the history of parks and the issues with preserving land. Um, and on top of that, you also do the research in the field. So it's, it's a wide range of, of issues that you deal with. This program is really structured from a day-to-day -day schedule, so our whole day is planned out. Um, you know, class here, walk here but it's very different from college life because you have a lot of free time at college, but it's a good way to experience this country. I'd say that uh, anybody who's interested in ecology ought to see the tropics at least once in their lifetime. The tropics is so incredibly, astoundingly diverse and uh, so accessible in terms of what you can get your hands on to study and to look at. And having that experience really uh, is, is a tremendous one. So I'd, I'd say that, yeah, anybody interested in ecology should consider coming to the tropics and seeing it for themselves. Somebody who wants to work hard, learn a lot, and have a lot of fun um, should really consider applying to this program.